Now let's look at uh, another example where, for which we are going to apply fitting to Tafel equation and then also compare with fitting to butler volmer equation. This table here gives the anode polarization data. Polarization data again means current density versus over potential. This table gives anode polarization data for chlorine gas production from sodium chloride solution. So producing chlorine gas, Cl2 from sodium chloride solution, 5 uh, molar per liter solution at uh, 20 degrees C. So this is data taken from literature. Okay. We want to use this data, fit the data to Tafel equation. Again, remind ourselves, Tafel equation applies when the over potential is relatively large. It's not too small. Okay, relatively large Tafel equation quite often greater than 100 millivolt. And um, before that significant mass transport limitation. So fitting these polarization data, the current density over potential data into Tafel equation, of course, using over potential uh, range, not too small, and determine the exchange current density, J0, and the symmetry factor beta for the anode direction, for the um, chlorine gas production reaction. Okay, we want to fit the data to get uh, connect, kinetic, um, fundamental kinetic data such as exchange current density, symmetry factor for the production of chlorine gas from sodium chloride uh, aqueous solution. Okay, so that's a problem. First, let's look at uh, the half cell reaction. We have sodium chloride, when it dissolves in water, it generates chlorine ion. And then the an anodic reaction, we are oxidizing it, oxidizing chlorine minus ion to chlorine gas and uh, stripping away two electrons. So two chlorine ion to form one chlorine uh, gas molecule and with the release of two electrons. Okay, this is the anode uh, reaction. And for, of course, as you can see, the number of electrons transferred n would be 2 for this reaction. If we write it this way, 2 chlorine ion to generate one chlorine molecule and releasing 2 electrons. We can say the number of electrons transferred as for the, this half cell reaction as we uh, have written is 2. Okay, so for this, we are given polarization data, current density, over potential, and we want to fit the data uh, to Tafel equation. The f to fit Tafel equation, remember, it is about um, a linear relationship between over potential and the log, for example, natural log of the current density. So the first thing that we are going to do is to just use in Excel to calculate natural log of current density. I like natural log, uh, and uh, this is the calculated value for different current density. For example, if the current density is 30, the natural log would be 3.4, okay? So the first step is to calculate natural log of the current density. Of course, you can calculate the log with base of 10, but here I just, for this example, I use natural log. And then, remember, it's a linear relationship for Tafel uh, equation between over potential and the natural log of current density. So in order to fit the data, we can do linear fitting, linear fitting for over potential here as the y of dependent variable versus independent variable independent variable would be natural log of current long j it will be x of the independent variable so you do linear fitting 
over potential data would be the y of dependent variable, the natural log calculated value would be x of independent variable. Do linear fitting, and of course for TAFO, in this case we are only using over potential value greater than 50 uh, millivolt. I will explain a little bit more, but keep in mind TAFO relationship quite often it's for over potential is significant, for example, greater than 100 millivolt. But here, for this example, we are fitting uh, using data greater than 50 millivolt. So from this row and above. Then, when you do linear fitting with Excel, you can generate some parameter such as linear fit, of course the fitted slope we call B value to be this number, and the intercept, specifically the Y intercept or over potential, uh, eta intercept would be the so-called A value and it will be given this one. And R square if you want from for linear fitting in Excel uh, would be in this case 0.9978. That tells you the quality of the fit. Typically, if you got uh, three nine, that is should be reasonable. And here we got two nine, but the third digit is seven, the fourth digit eight. So it's getting close to the three nine, which means pretty good linear relationship between natural log of current density and over potential or eta. So with this calculate fitted uh, slope B and uh, intercept A, now we can calculate the one minus beta, one minus beta and uh, J zero. The symmetry factor which is beta but one minus beta uh, and the J zero, the exchange current density from the fitted slope B and the intercept A using the two equations that we have shown earlier. Uh, for TAFO relation, remember we have showed slope B is essentially uh, RT over one minus symmetry factor times uh, N, number of electron transferred times Faraday constant, while the eta, the over potential intercept A would be minus this RT over 1 minus beta NF times natural log of uh, exchange current density. And for the intercept, the eta intercept A, if you look at this relationship, you will find this term, the term within the uh, bracket is just the slope O, slope B. So we can simplify this intercept A as minus B times natural log of exchange current density. Okay, so with the slope, fitted slope B value with the equation on the top, we can in principle calculate uh, 1 minus beta because R is gas constant, it's known. T we said is 20 degrees C or 293.15 Kelvin is also known. N here is 2 for the chlorine oxidation to chlorine gas and F is Faraday constant which is known. So with these we can, with slope B we can calculate 1 minus beta and then with B and the intercept A, we can calculate the exchange current density, which is natural log uh, of J0, natural log for exchange current density, and then calculate exchange current density. And with this, if you plug the number in, we did the calculation 1 minus B would be 0 0.317. Well, the exchange current density, it has current density as a unit of amps per meter square would be 291, which means the exchange current density is 291 amps per square meter. Well, the one minus beta, one minus symmetry factor would be 0 0.317. And in the textbook, 
by Dr. Thomas Fuller. Uh, you will notice for this example, he was using alpha A. And uh, in his definition, alpha A would be the anode transfer coefficient. And essentially, alpha A would be just equal to 1 minus symmetry factor beta times n. And if we uh, have the 1 minus beta is 0 0.312 and beta is 2, we can calculate alpha A would be 0 0.635, which matches the example data in the textbook.